Recent rains, New Mexico was in the middle of a terrible fire season, and a lot of those fires were caused by people. Well, now investigators have caught two people who are charged with starting a very large fire. Here's News 13's Nancy Laughlin. Dick, during the peak of fire season, there were warnings after warnings about the danger, but two Albuquerque teens who either didn't get the message or ignored it are now in big trouble. The pictures show it all. A barbecue grill left on the side of Highway 84. The grass along the highway charred and burned. 11,000 acres worth. It cost taxpayers 25,000 bucks to put the fire out. A fire that should not have happened. It wasn't really my fault. The fire started in the back of my truck. Like flames, big old flames in the back of my truck. Yeah. You know, I got scared and started taking everything out. Javier Delgado just bonded out of jail. He says he's sorry for what he did. I don't apologize to everybody over there. Investigators say 18-year-old Delgado and his buddy, 19-year-old Eloy Arteaga, were camping at Sumner Lake State Park June 19th. The same weekend, 50,000 acres and 19 fires were burning in New Mexico. There were a lot of fire restrictions in place, including no grilling with charcoal. The teens ignored warnings from park rangers to extinguish their grill. When they were busted, they loaded the still fired up grill onto the back of Javier's truck and drove off. But once on the road, the fire flared up and caught their camping gear on fire. Javier dumped the grill and the burned items on the side of the road and drove home to Albuquerque. Investigators eventually tracked them down and arrested them last week for starting the fire. There are consequences. If you are careless with fire, if you intentionally start a fire, there are consequences and they can be severe. And they are. Both face more than $6,000 in fines and up to two and a half years behind bars. And investigators say because Javier was the one who unloaded the grill onto the side of the highway, he may have to pay the $25,000 it costs to fight the fire. The fact that he's sorry means a lot to me. Whether or not it's going to mean anything in the court is a completely different matter. Okay, Javier bonded out of jail and is back home, but Arteaga, at last word, is still in the DeBaca County Detention Center. No word yet on their next court date. Dick, back to you. Okay, Nancy, a state forestry spokesman says of those 19 fires burning in New Mexico at the time of the one started by the two teens, 16 were caused by people.